Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a corrupt registry in Windows 11. This also will work with Windows 10, but we're going to be doing it for Windows 11 today. So how would you know you have a registry problem? Well, you will know right away by having this sort of blue screen of death. This one is status cannot load the registry file. There is an access problem such as registry errors being corrupted or missing or something else stopping the data from loading. And the other a uh, fatal error might be fatal unhandled hard error and when the registry data structure file could not be loaded because it's either damaged or missing it can also be due to corrupt dll files or drivers so what causes these critical registry errors and there's many reasons why these happen and it could be pointing towards uh, deleted entry keys or values corrupted entries or keys or values in the registry missing system files used by the registry or other problems preventing the system from accessing the registry altogether and again this can point to malware and virus infections software installations and updates that have gone wrong failing hardware that can cause it outdated or faulty device drivers and power outages and system crashes can also cause issues just like you see when I showed you at the beginning of the video. So how do we go about fixing these problems with your registry? I'm gonna show you how you can do it in this video and uh, you can follow these steps and hopefully you can be back up and running. So the first thing you wanna do is type CMD in the search box and run this as administrator. This is gonna open up the command prompt. Say yes to the user account control here. And the first thing you wanna do is run the system file checker. This will run a scan on all your protected system files and replace corrupted files which are cached copies that are stored and located in a compressed folder in WinDIR System32 DLL cache. So basically, once this is run, if you have an error code like this, found corrupted files, it will say successfully repaired those files. If it can't, then you can try the next command, which I'm gonna show you here, but there'll also be a little log file that is created so you want to type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. This is going to check the health of the system files and it will tell us whether there's an issue and it will come up here and you can see the component store is repairable and it's also the operation completed successfully. Next, you can do the DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image and then space forward slash restore health and this will restore the health of that drive and then file so let that go ahead and do its thing now it's important that you update all drivers on that computer to make sure they're all fully updated if you're using old drivers this can cause blue screen of death as well especially uh, with the registry if you've got really old hardware plugged into the computer and there's no driver updates for it that can also be causing the issue especially if you're using a modern uh, operating system so next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to type system and go to uh, system restore here. So type system restore and then go to where it says create a restore point here. Now, hopefully you have system restore uh, and turned on and you have system restore points, which are pretty new. Now, you want to go back to a time that is pretty close to the time of problem. So if you have an issue, say today, and you want to go back, say, a week when the PC was working perfectly fine. Don't go back too far because you can run into a lot of issues by doing that. So try and stay as close to the time as possible. You can scan for affected programs if you're rolling back. Some of these might not work properly and it will tell you there. But you can roll back, especially if you've been tweaking your system or using some of those scripts you find online. These can actually break the system and uh, cause a lot of problems. So be careful with what sort of scripts you're running on your computer. And of course, if you've done a lot of stuff on your computer and all of a sudden these problems arise, you know what's caused the problem. So what we're gonna do here is gonna choose that restore point and roll the computer back to that time. You can see here, once started, system restore point will take place. We're gonna go ahead and start restoring the system and it's preparing to restore the system back. Now, again, some people haven't had a lot of success with this, and that's sometimes because they're trying to go too far back. If you're trying to go back like six months and you've got system restore points like a year old and you're trying to go back to those, you may have issues. Now, if you've got pirated software on your system, again, this can cause problems. Be very careful. 
Uh, some of these contain malware. And again, you could have malware that is causing this issue as well. That's another key uh, thing to look out for and run scans on your PC. Also remember, if you was infected before and you're rolling the PC back, there could be malware in that system restore point and you're rolling back to it and those malware will come back. So bear that in mind as well if you've got that on the system. It's not good. Uh, you always want to keep clean restore points on your computer to roll back to. And that's why it's important to delete some of the old system restore points if you've had issues and create new clean ones that are known working ones. And that way you can roll back to a clean working state rather than rolling back to something that was broken. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that you can try. Now you can try system startup repair, but I don't have much luck with that. But another thing you can do is go to the registry editor. If you have a registry backup, you can import that registry backup and hopefully that will resolve the issue as well, especially if it was taken when the PC was in a good working state. Again, it goes back to saying if it's really old, and it's like a year old, that uh, registry backup, then don't restore back to it because you've done a lot of changes within that time and that can cause a serious amount of problems if you're rolling back to that restore point or registry backup. You can see here, this one was created pretty recently. So I could quite easily go up to uh, the registry editor and go to file and then import and import that new file. Make sure you're on computer here and click on import and then choose the file that you want to import and then click open and that will import that into the system and hopefully this will resolve a lot of issues. Now remember we're talking about a corrupt registry here, not any other type of blue screen of death. So this will be a different approach to other blue screens that you might be having. This one is pointing towards a corrupt registry. So here we've got the system now restored back. What we're going to do here now is go to the recovery tab inside system here and you may have a rollback option here if you do then you can roll back the pc you can see fix problems using windows update there is that option there but we're not going to do that one if you are still having issues it could be a hardware related issue but we do have reset this pc you can keep your files or you can remove everything. If you want to keep your files, you should always back up your files and don't rely on Microsoft to back them up for you. Use the cloud download to download a fresh copy and then basically go through and uh, reinstall uh, the system. And this should fix a lot of problems. Your programs will be removed from the system. So if you've installed programs, they are going to be removed. They will not be saved. As you can see here, it's going to reset and it's going to tell you everything that's going to change on this system. It's important that you read all of this before you continue. Once you're ready, you can click go back. We can see the changes that are going to be made and we're going to reset. And this is going to start preparing the PC for reset. Now, once you've done a reset of the PC, if those problems still arise and they're still causing issues, then you know you might have a much more serious issue. And uh, this could be related to hardware. And it's important that you're going to run different diagnostic checks of all your hardware, whether it be memory, whether it be uh, your GPU. It could be different types of blue screens that you're getting. So make sure you read those two blue screens that I showed you at the beginning of the video, because those two are related to corrupted registry. If you're getting a different type of blue screen with a different type of uh, message on it, then that is going to be related to something else. It could be your graphics card driver. It could be uh, another type of issue that you're having. Now, if the reset this PC doesn't work, you need to do a complete fresh install of Windows and wipe everything. So you back up all your data and do a clean install of Windows. And if you're still having issues after that, then it's more than likely going to be a hardware related issue. And then that's a completely different video. And you would need to go through the diagnostics of testing that hardware to find out what piece of hardware is causing the problem. Always make sure you unplug any sort of peripherals that are plugged into your computer, like hard drives and old devices like printers and things like that, because they can also cause a lot of blue screens as well. If the problem goes away, then you know it's that piece of hardware that is causing the issue. So what causes people to have a lot of problems when it comes to fixing computers? It's not that difficult if you've got the tools. For instance, if you've got a hardware issue, it's going to be a lot easier to fix and diagnose if you have other 
hardware laying around. For instance, if you want to test whether it's a memory issue, rather than testing with memtest and things like that, you can quickly swap out that memory and see whether the problem goes away. Run the same tests you did before, and if the problem goes away, you know it's going to be your memory. Same thing with your power supply. If it's dirty power or you've got a bad power supply, swapping out that power supply quickly and testing it, if the problem goes away, you know it's the power supply. So to save yourself a lot of money and a lot of time and effort, and before you start taking it to a PC repair shop, and all they will do is back up your data and reinstall Windows, and then they would obviously bill you and say, we've got your data if you need it, it's going to be an extra cost. What you should be doing is trying to do that yourself, back up your data yourself, and obviously having a go at trying to reset Windows. I know a lot of people don't like resetting Windows, but sometimes that's the only way you'll know whether it's hardware or software because the software problem will go away with a new fresh install. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to do this. They end up going round in circles, taking it to a PC repair shop, and of course they will get billed quite heftily for uh, their time. And all they've done is exactly what you could have done at home. Now, where the problem lies is when you don't have spare hardware laying around uh, to swap out, to test whether it's the memory or whether it's the uh, power supply or whether it's the CPU or whether it's other items in the computer. And this is where the problem lies for a lot of home users. They don't have the spare parts to test. And some people have really old computers and they just don't have any parts lying around to swap out and test these PCs. So hopefully if you followed this video and it is a software related issue, then your problem should be resolved. If it's not, then obviously you've still got issues there that you need to troubleshoot and that could be hardware related. So hopefully you can check out some of my older videos on uh, diagnosing hardware issues and hopefully that will resolve your problem. Anyway, but as I said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.